a good thing. Good morning, everybody. Today is the Bells of Ball Ground Day. <laughs> we are celebrating the Bells of Ball Ground. We have made it through winter, and we are now approaching spring. And everybody knows in the spring, women get out their Easter bonnets, and they do things with each other. They plan teas. Jenny is the queen of planning teas. That's right. And Miss Diane is the person who gets the gardens ready for the teas. And Miss Sally is the overseer. And Miss Sally happens to own one of the prettiest hats I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. Very oh. awesome. And one of the things that the women and the Bells of Allground love to do, we love to gather at Laura Mays. We love to have tea or lunch or just hang out and, and be there. And we had a little birthday celebration there for me and I was really stunned and shocked because somebody sent out word to send me birthday cards. And we got birthday cards from as far away as Miami. I think I even got one from California. It was so weird. And, and I did not expect that at all. But every time I walk in Laura Mays, I expect to have something stunning to eat. And so <laughs> I'm a creature of habit. I love the chicken salad. I love the meatloaf sandwich. I don't vary much. Mm -hmm. I'm just a creature of habit. Mm -hmm. Now, are y'all creatures of habit? Oh, absolutely. You know, you get used to something, and if it ain't broke, don't fix That's it. Right. That's right. Is that right? That's right. So, and I love so, her sandwich. pimento cheese. Yes, yes. It's love really her good. pimento cheese. But it's so weird. I just... Every time I sit in that building, I imagine what it was like when Laura Mae Mitchell lived there. Mm -hmm. Jenny, you were in there then. What yes. was it like? It was very pretty. She took a lot of pride in, in restoring it, and it was just beautiful. She had the garden club there, and we mm -hmm. visited with her, and it was just very pretty. The yeah. hardwood floors. Oh, I just, love them. You know, yeah. Really, really pretty. Yeah. They're beautiful. And it was only two bedrooms, is that mm -hmm. right? But mm -hmm. she didn't have any children, right. so that's plenty of space. And I can imagine, did she have gatherings there more than the garden club? Did she, you know, what else was she involved in? Church? Church, church, church groups. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She had a lot of, lot of events there. And a lot Family of people friends. who walk in now, they just kind of... They're just like, oh, this is beautiful. Oh, this is beautiful. Mm -hmm. And a, because it sat there how many years? Over 10 years, it was empty right. and looking uh -huh. pretty dismal. Mm -hmm. And now it just looks great. It, look it looks very, great. Very yeah, uh -huh. really pretty. And before her, there was Joe and Ethel Watkins mm -hmm. that lived there, too. Mm -hmm. And, and Mr. raised Joe a family a, there. Yes, and Mr. Joe had a um, city cafe right on Main Street, a very good cafe. Now tell me where it was. And it was right um, above, well, right now it's where the Element Funding is. Okay. Right in there. Mm -hmm. And had a neat little sign that said City Cafe. And uh, that's Dot Bird worked for them. And that's mm -hmm. how she learned to cook. And then she moved across the street and opened mm -hmm. her own cafe. Mm -hmm. Well, last night, very late, I got a message from somebody. And I kind of got tickled because I always say that Ball Ground is the tiny town with the big heart. And I was corrected, and he said, actually, we chartered as a city. And I said, okay, I'll change it. We're just an amazing city. So <laughs> I'll change it, I'll change it. But I always tell people, please come to Ball Ground. Please get to know this really precious, sweet town. Because we're getting sidewalk extensions in so many places, I want to see it as a total walking community. Mm -hmm. I grew up in Morningside and in College Park. Have y'all ever been to Orlando? No. Yes. Okay, in Orlando, there's a, a, it's a city within a city, and it's called College Park, and all our streets were cobblestone streets, and we could walk to Gabriel's Sub Shop, we could walk to church, we could walk to the drugstore, we could walk to Publix, and many of the ladies carried their little buggy on wheels and went to walk to the grocery store. So I grew up in walking communities, mm -hmm. and in Morningside, we walked to North Highland Pharmacy, which is where Coca-Cola was invented, and we just, it was a walking community, so I was used to a walking community. And when they started doing this in Ball Ground and everything came to town, I was so excited because mm -hmm. I said, we can turn it into a little college park. We can turn it into a little Morningside. Morningside is still a wonderful walking community in downtown Atlanta. Now think about that. It's in Atlanta and people still walk their babies with their strollers. Right. They walk to their offices. They walk to the local bistros. 
it's just it's awesome and mm -hmm. so my goal is to see people move to ball ground and park their cars and walk to town mm -hmm. and support the local mm -hmm. businesses and we're getting more and more of that we are more getting more walk and more into town yeah I love it I just love it I had some 86 year old people who came in my office the other day and they said we want to buy the first town home at Farmers Crossing I said well I want to sell it to you <laughs> and they said we're going to maintain our home in Forsyth County but we want a second home here because we want our grandchildren to be able to come to ball ground bring their friends and walk to town and I said how cool is that they live in Forsyth County but it's off Highway 20 and he said we can't walk anywhere he said we have to get in our car for everything we do mm -hmm. so they were so excited and they're originally from Oklahoma but they've been in Georgia for like 20 years and they just love it and they said ball ground's our choice ball ground is what we choose as our next home and I thought that's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. That's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. And you wouldn't believe they're in their 80s. I mean, I was sitting there and I'm like, are y'all lying to me? Are y'all really in your 80s? Because they, they said they are. And uh, they're just active and, and just so sweet and so much fun. And I just thought, you know, this is what we want. We want people who come. And I asked them, I said, have y'all been to Laura Mays? They said, are you kidding me? We love Laura Mays. <laughs> and I said, awesome, awesome. <laughs> So that's what we want to share. And I said, we have seen the businesses in Ball Ground who have survived, but barely. We want mm -hmm. them to thrive this year mm -hmm. because two years of COVID, it was about all anybody could take. So we're ready for everybody to be busting wide open. I know Dominic's had a 45 minute wait on Sunday. They were so busy, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. That's, That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Now, you know about Dominic's mission? Yes. yes. And That's how incredible is that? That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. He is, he is like, he's a New Yorker, y'all, but he's a ball, is it ball groundian? Ground. <laughs> ball grounder. <laughs> he's a ball grounder. And he still has that New York accent, but he loves ball ground. Mm -hmm. And he is is giving back okay. and I think that's what we are so blessed with we have mm -hmm. such a variety of people and if you go through Mountain Brook nobody's from here no. nobody's from here they're from mm -hmm. Sally your neighbors tell me where your neighbors I know there's some in there from Idaho Oregon Pennsylvania California. New Jersey California all over everywhere yeah. Okay. everywhere yeah and they chose ball ground because they loved it and we love it too but we also want to see it grow so the businesses don't leave mm -hmm. the worst thing ever is walking downtown and seeing empty buildings now we have a few empty buildings that we need to do something with and we're hoping that one day all the buildings will be full but the businesses that are there are doing well but we need to make sure that people don't jump in their car at Mountain Brook you're responsible for this you set up <laughs> I mean, a gate the sidewalk, yes. the sidewalk is coming the sidewalk yes. is coming we need people to when they have guests and they say let's go to lunch let's walk to bond ground the sidewalk is coming and I'm it's gonna be really cool that. yeah I've that for a long time. Oh, yeah yeah, yeah. Now, Miss Pickleball here, you, <laughs> right. you are on the you are on the court quite often. I see you, and yes. I think, <laughs> yes. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, you know, ball ground spent a little extra money to turn the court into a pickleball court. Right. Yeah. We can actually make four courts, but mm -hmm. they have two permanent ones, which is such a blessing, and they still leave tennis open mm -hmm. to be used for tennis. Right. And living close to there, we hear kids out there playing basketball at 10 o'clock at time. night. Yeah, mm -hmm. they love it. And then at 6.30 in the morning, you'll hear a kid out there, bounce, 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 bounce. <laughs> they love it. Yeah, they're using the park. Right. And then the walking trails, the 50-acre walking trails up at the top of the hill, I mean, that's just so beautiful and amazing. And people are... I went up there Sunday to take some pictures and I had to sit and wait as cars were coming out. And I said, what a problem to have. I love this. I love this. Yeah. And Mayor Rick wanted it to be that way. Too. Yes. Sidewalks and people will walk to town right. and enjoy it. Right. Can we just do a shout out? We love Mayor Rick. Yeah. 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 And we Eric. Are, Eric Wilmarth. Eric, listen, Eric listen. Surrey. I have said, Rick made a statement he would not run again and I said listen I want your female hormones to kick in and you just tell them the next election listen my female hormones kicked in and women always change, change their mind. Their <laughs> so I've decided to run again I I cannot imagine ball ground without Eric and Rick right I, I can't even imagine it. I don't want to imagine it. No, <laughs> I don't want they, to. They've got a vision for the town. Yes, and it's yes. Going that way. It is, absolutely. They're so supportive of Garden Club. Oh, yes. absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. yes, with that botanical garden. And in reality, didn't who had the original idea to do something downtown? Was it you or was it Rick? Who was it? 
For what? To do the botanical garden. Oh, it was Rick. Yeah, he absolutely. He called me in and said, what about this? Because we wanted to put bricks uh, for memorial or veterinary, ver veterans bricks mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in an area. And we thought about there at the flagpole by the, by the uh, railroad tracks, but we couldn't do that because of the railroad. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Beverly Pogue <laughs> asked about uh, putting it somewhere around City Hall. Mm -hmm. And so he called me, and they were planning a park right in there anyway. They were working on that. So he called me and asked me if the Garden Club would consider a botanical garden mm -hmm. on that three quarters of an acre right there by City Hall. Wow. And, and Jenny, tell people how much it cost them to go there. Oh, nothing. Free. <laughs> it's free, y'all. It's free. 24-7. It's free. You can have a picnic there. You can you can just hang out there. You can take your kids for a walk there. My favorite time is early in the morning when the birds are chirping. It's mm -hmm. so cool to just sit there and listen. And Diane gives tours. Uh -huh. yes. uh -huh. Well, we just, we just built a birdhouse, a blue birdhouse, there at the entrance. And um, I'll tell you this story real quick. We had a gentleman call me and he said he'd been to our festival last year and it was mm -hmm. so wonderful. He just went on and bragging about ball ground. And then he said, I have 90 potted Stella Dora Day Lilies. And he said, I want to give you these plants to sell at the sale so you can earn more money. Mm -hmm. Just How out sweet of blue, is that? he yeah. lives in Canton. Wow, People wow. People love ball grass. Yeah. Yes, they do. Yes, <laughs> that's they a, do. Uh, yes. That's, yeah. Shows you. I told Rick yesterday, I said, you know, Beverly Hills 90210 ain't got nothing on ball ground. We no. got 30107. <laughs> so right. I said, we are, oh, we are like, yeah, I live in 30107. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. We are so blessed. We are so blessed to have each other and to be surrounded by, um, Sally, when you moved here in Mountain Brook, did you know many people? Didn't know anybody. We were the last house, and now they've built so many past us. Mm -hmm. But just good people. Yes. Good yeah. people moving yeah. in our neighborhood. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's wonderful. And uh, Diane, you have a history of being around and doing and doing and doing, and you kind of just jump in and do and do and do mm -hmm. whatever. So have you always been a workaholic? Well, I'm a retired teacher. I taught 32 years in Cobb County, had fourth grade. So, mm -hmm. I, you know, as, as a Christian, you also want to give, mm -hmm. and that's mm -hmm. my, my philosophy. But I'm also a volunteer at the Pregnancy Center in Jasper, which mm -hmm. is such awesome. a blessing yes, to the yes, community. Yes, I love it. Yes, yeah. yes. Saving babies. So I yeah. love working in the garden and, um, you know, I'm not afraid of work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, one time the pregnancy center came and asked me would I speak to him, and I said, I don't think I'm a good candidate for that. And they said, why? And I said, because I believe in adoption also. Oh, yeah. Well, and most do, people, most people are just fighting abortions, but mm -hmm. I believe that if you are not stable, able, willing to care for a child, adoption is a great consideration. Yeah, I'm one of the counselors yeah. and I hear yeah. the stories. Yeah. We do not have many that choose abortion up mm -hmm, here. Mm -hmm. it, it's more from Canton downward. Right. But uh, it's such a blessing to, to see young women keep their baby and mm -hmm. try to be better parents. Yep. That's yep. the point of it. Yeah, it's it's a great place. Even and men want mentors. Well, and people are looking too for baby clothes. Their store is the always so is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Mm -hmm. It is amazing. Mm -hmm. well, we're going to take a commercial break and we come back, we're going to show something that shows some of the people that you might see hanging out in ball ground. And we'll do that when we come back in just a minute. Mm -hmm. Okay, for you guys that are with us on Facebook, Pets all over the world are so bored every St. Patrick's Day. But not in LJ, Georgia. Join us Saturday, March 12th from 11 a.m. till 3 p.m. for the 2022 St. Patrick's Celebration. Bring your pets all dressed up for the pet parade and pet costume contest. We'll have vendors, raffles, a pet blessing, entertainment, and so much more. Saturday, March 12th, 11 a.m. till 3 p.m. LJ, Georgia, the 2022 St. Patrick's Celebration. <laughs> Whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. 
not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meet, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ. How may I serve you? United Country Talking Rock Realty says it best. I'm happy as long as I can see Sharp Top. From the ground up, new home to complete renovation or remodel, we have combined the amazing workmanship of SGC groups, transforming the forgotten to the fabulous. Teamwork makes the dream work. For buying, selling, or flipping, call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece or just making memories, writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow, whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection-based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. that I've been working on. It is, I've just started gathering some things and I'm getting it ready and it's gonna actually be four projects that I'm gonna finish that I'm gonna gift some of the ladies here today with in a few weeks. I've had it on my mind a long time, but then I just kind of started throwing things together and it started in the early 1900s and back when I was a child, Bill Senior would say. <laughs> so, but I want Caleb to show you, if you walk in Laura Mays, you might see some of these people having lunch. So you might see some of those people. Do you recognize any of those people? Oh, I do a few. Yeah. Do you recognize one up in the right-hand corner? Yeah. Melania Trump. <laughs> and, and I just said, I just want everybody to realize that you can meet your friends. You can pick up the phone. You can say, hey, meet me at Laura Mays. And when Nancy Wirtz, who owns Laura Mays, called and we were talking about the name, and I said, please tell me what the name's going to be. She said, I can't. It's a secret. And I said, please tell me what the name is. Well, my grandmother's name is Laura, too. And I have another composite I'm doing several things, and one of it has my, my grandmother on it, and she has this homely-looking hat on, but because her name's Laura, I had to use hers, too. <laughs> so we're working on doing something to honor all the wonderful women in Ball Ground because Ball Ground is filled with get-or-done kind of ladies like her. You know, <laughs> if you pick up the phone and call today, you could gather 20 women who would say, yes, Jenny, I will Absolutely. help. You could gather 20. You could gather 20. I can gather 20. We would have almost 100 people who would volunteer for any project we were involved in. That speaks volumes for the Bells of Ball Ground. <laughs> we get the men to get working, too. Yes. We can yes. get the men to do a lot of yes. things. Yes, I have seen that. Jim walked in one day and said, I'm a member of the Garden Club. I said, do what? <laughs> Danny walked in and said, I'm a member of the Garden Club. I said, do what? <laughs> and Dr. Kitchens. Dr. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. yes, yes, yes. So, so y'all have nailed it. I mean, you are making things work. Now today being March 16th, and my sweet daughter Dawn just walked in, and she's going to be with us in a little bit, but I want to uh, read, she always, she gives me these books, and I have to choose which one I want to share, but today, March 16th, in addition to the rules we all have to obey, there are specific things God asks each of us to do as individuals in order to move us into the purpose He has for our lives. It's important that you keep asking God to show you what He wants you to do. Boy, that's tough. It is. Because sometimes you think you're going to figure it out, and there ain't no figuring it out. You give it to him, and then you land where you land. So 
we'll see. He's in charge. He's in charge. <laughs> he's in charge. It's kind of like Marge in charge. He's in charge. Okay, we want to talk again about your mugs. You can order these. I think it would be really cool if you're having an Easter luncheon to have these sitting on your table with some little lavender plates. My daughter loved lavender, <laughs> so it makes a beautiful table. But um, when y'all raise money, what do you do? You have a purpose to raise the money, or do you just raise the money and then decide how to spend it? Mm -hmm. What do you usually do? Well, we usually already have a, a reason to be raising money. Now, I think the profit from this will go into the club for just administrative costs, but from our garden and our plant sale, all that money will go back into the garden. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. For, the, for the community. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and did you decide to do the plant sale earlier this year because of the weather last year? It was so hot, or is there a reason? One reason. <laughs> one reason, that was one but we also wanted people not to be on vacation. Right, right. Before they get out. Yep. Right. Yeah, they I think take that's off important. They're not here. That's yeah. exactly right, yeah. Well, it was very successful last year. Food vendors this year were very honored to have Laura Mays represented. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be really, really cool. Mm -hmm. And um, she does sandwiches and soups. I'm sure in the heat they won't be doing soups, but some really unique sandwiches mm -hmm. and desserts. And I told her, I said, do that almond croissant. Have y'all had Ooh, that? Yes. <gasps> oh my gosh. It, it is one of those mm -hmm. things you can be, do being really mm -hmm. good on your eating mm -hmm. plan. And then you get yep. one of those and you're like, oh, I might just eat two bites. Don't kid yourself. You can eat the whole yeah, thing. Right. <laughs> you can I eat the whole thing. Hot milk cake. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> and isn't that an old recipe she's had forever? Yeah, yeah. Everybody likes that. So. And she will be there that day. She will. She will. Now, the, the plant sale is um, basically... Tell me where you get the plants and, and how... I know you said one guy is donating 90 plants. Well, we're also this year going to have some uh, Japanese maples. We have a friend in Marietta that grows and uh, makes them small, mm -hmm. in other words, grafts mm -hmm. them. So we're going to have a collection of Japanese maples, which wow. we didn't have last year. We're uh -huh. going to have the Daylily Lady from um, the Jungle Paradise over in Dawsonville. Mm -hmm. and hers, she grows and hybridizes, so they're unique uh -huh. ones. But uh, we'll have plants that many of our members have grown or we go into a yard they want us to help thin it I thin think it we had a little thinning done here mm -hmm. yes yeah we yeah yes we thin did it out we did. Yeah. and that's the way we can have a collection mm -hmm. we have uh, some land where we live so I hide things behind the barn and <laughs> <laughs> some subdivisions don't like for you to just collect plants uh -huh. <laughs> so I'm, I'm able to do that but we'll have a big selection it's just amazing who decides on the pricing because you want to be fair we kind of look at the big box stores or mm -hmm. local nurseries or catalogs look uh -huh. in catalogs and right we always try to get come in lower than what they're asking mm -hmm. but nowadays everything is so expensive yes it is so if expensive. anybody has anything they want to share mm -hmm. we have a team that will come out and dig, dig, dig the yep. plants mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. replace it with the soil well talking about iris because iris are one of those that you need to thin to get them to really do well right. and and miss paul loves to paint iris iris is like one of my favorite flowers the only problem i have with me and an iris it blooms and it's gone well, that's true it's gone <laughs> and i'm like why can't you bloom four times a year you know <laughs> beautiful but my favorite flower has always been a camellia bush oh, i just love the camellias do y'all have many camellias down there not many but we're you can always dig some up that mm -hmm. are shooting out from underneath a, a big bush mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so um we'll we try to get a lot of variety of things, but many of them well, get I've taken very quickly. Well, I have a place I want y'all to go with me. It's out on Shiloh Church Road, and there is a there is a camellia bush that I promise you is as big as this oh, background. Make it big. And y'all need to get some of that and graft it and, and plant it. It is absolutely stunning. And mm -hmm. when I was a kid, we went to a mansion down in Macon. We had a friend who lived in this beautiful southern mansion. And the one thing I remember walking out the front door, there was just a gorgeous camellia garden. And I've always, since then, I was like four years old, been fascinated with camellias. So, mm -hmm. it, and this, when I got to this property and I took pictures of it and I said, oh my gosh, look at that camellia. Mm -hmm. And it, it is just stunning, so. We have two pretty ones right at our entrance. Oh, from Back mm -hmm. Street. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it's very pretty. And white and, and red. We planted two at our fellowship hall at Sharp Mountain where we meet. Mm -hmm. And I believe uh, some of them planted in the Four Seasons Garden. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And speaking of meeting, you get to meet in a building that Laura May made possible. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> in that, her in her that portrait something, is on the wall. Picture. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that something that mm, she so she really did think about others? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. really cool. She served as president several times mm -hmm. in the Garden Club. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just want to say about our Garden Club, too. We have 57 members now, mm -hmm. and we've had five join this year, and it's just Young people are coming in, I think because of our botanical garden, people really want to jump in and mm -hmm. the new people are jumping in to help us. I mean, that's, that's awesome. That's amazing. Don't say I said this, but when y'all <coughs> were aging, I heard a rumor <laughs> that if we didn't get some young members in the garden club, everybody'd be gone, right. if you get what I mean. <laughs> so I'm so happy to know some young members are coming on. Right. When Rick asked me about this, I was thinking, 30 little 70-year-old women to do a botanical garden? I'm not sure, but I'll ask. Yeah. Well, we're used to meet in the homes, but uh -huh. you know, too yeah. big for that now. Yeah, that's, pr that's a pretty awesome problem to have. And at our last um, at our last plant sale, we signed up 15 people that wanted to join our garden club. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. That's and some awesome. are still in the process of joining. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. yeah, yeah. Well, you know, when we started doing ETC, we said we serve from ball ground to Turtle Town. So from ball ground to Turtle Town, if you get out today and you go the just the area that we serve. There are so many people who are looking at their plants and saying, oh, that was mama's dahlia and it needs to be put mm -hmm. back out, or that was granny's iris and I need to thin those. If y'all are watching us today and you are in the thinning mode, uh, <laughs> Jenny and I, and we took Lucille Rich, we went up into North Carolina looking for um, touch me not. Touch me not. <laughs> we went everywhere and pulled into a yard, and the lady, I said, oh, she had touch me not. She had all kinds of stuff, and wasn't that sweet? She oh, gave she us so much not. stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She yeah. shared her seed with mm -hmm. us right there. Absolutely. It was crazy because I kept saying there's something missing at the garden. My granddaddy's favorite flower was the touch me not. So we got in the car and we headed out to find it. We mm -hmm. found it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We didn't find it first stop, second stop, third stop. We found it in North Carolina, uh -huh. but we found it. <laughs> <laughs> We're for some of those. <laughs> yeah, and if you are thinning your gardens and you would like to share with the ladies, do y'all, you have a Facebook page? Yes. We do. So go to their Facebook page and maybe message y'all, or is there a phone number they could call? Uh, they can call me, 404-376-0358. There you go. Mm -hmm. There you go. Um, is it Brown Eyed Susans that come back every year? Black Eyed Susans? Black -eyed. Yeah, Black Eyed yeah. Susans. I think Vicky's always come back and then she has this other thing, cat something, catnip something, something. This purple cat heather, is that what it is? It comes back, it's beautiful every year and it always needs a little bit of thinning. So, so Vicky, pick up the phone and call them and say, come out here and thin this stuff. So, she has a gardener, so she doesn't really do it herself, but, but it's, um, it is spring, you look and say, oh, those iris are too thick. And I have some iris, some beautiful iris that the viewers brought me. I got off the air one day and there was a number two wash tub sitting outside with all kinds of iris in it that one of our viewers brought us. And wow. I planted them. So and beautiful. sadly, the big tree that came down a couple of days ago slaughtered a bunch of my iris, but I hope the bulb is still under the ground. Yeah, probably put yeah, back Yeah, there. I hope it'll be okay, mm -hmm. so. We have iris that I brought from my grandfather's back in the 50s and the 40s wow. from South Carolina and then oh it went gosh. to my mother's and then I dug them up and brought them up here to ball ground and oh. so that's what we have. It's the old timey light blue ones. Uh -huh. Oh, that's we'll awesome. We'll have those for sale. Awesome. At the garden too. And what a history. That's 70 mm -hmm. years old. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, these probably garden. went back to the 30s. Wow. In that South so Carolina, cool. near Clemson. If uh -huh. people have any Clemson fans yeah. out there. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Okay, vendors. You already have 30 some odd vendors? 32 vendors signed up with uh, Talking Rock, Feather's Edge, some of our local vendors, people from Woodstock. We've just Got 30 artwork, artwork, mm -hmm. crafts, mm -hmm. Scentsy, Pampered Chef. We've got a good mix of vendors. That's awesome. Painting on mar ball ground marble, uh -huh. paintings and sayings awesome. painted on there. That's awesome. That's our own Victoria Spinner. She's yeah, she's very that. good. That is cool. And we also have raffles. We have great. We're going to have great raffles. Baskets. Uh, mm -hmm. Somebody made a solid maple bench last year and. 
you donated a fire pit, and that was one of we the did. Hot items. We did. We did. <laughs> we did. A lot of money. Didn't yes, yeah. and we will have to say, Miss Jane, it's time to shop again, and we need to donate something else just <laughs> as nicely. And we gave a Calvin Farmer print last yes, year, a framed did. print. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yes. yeah, wonderful. Yeah, yeah. and the Testian donated a print mm -hmm. also. Mm -hmm. And also that print <clears> is in <throat> Ireland, in it, Michelle Ireland Dentistry in Ball Grounds. Wow, she opened an office, that's awesome. So. That is awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know that's what what we want to do we want the newcomers to learn about the old timers right. mm -hmm. and I think that's so important and you know every time David David Byers don't think I call you because you're old but anytime <laughs> I have a question I say I gotta call David and ask him <laughs> I call David and ask him because David knows a lot about ball ground right. and so I'm, I'm so glad to have somebody that I can trust mm -hmm. to pick up the phone and call and say okay David tell me about this and he, he can he can so He's what a there, blessing. Been there since 1939, so he yeah, knows a Yeah, bit. yeah, yeah. Now, can Jenny. I, can I just say uh -huh, what a yeah. great job Teresa Dorfling is doing. She's uh, overall the manager of our plant sale mm -hmm. festival, and Jim's doing the vendors, but they really are doing a good job She's pulling our the rest uh, of us together. Treasurer, yeah. too. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Teresa's yeah. our treasurer, yeah. Yeah. and she knows how to do all that. <laughs> Yeah, 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 that's important, that's important. Yeah. Now what if somebody is doing an estate plan and they want to make a donation that would continue to live on? You're a 5013C? Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. Okay, mm -hmm. so tax deductible. Yeah. If somebody's out there doing estate planning, they could make a contribution to the garden club that would give year after year after year. Do y'all do a scholarship program? Not yet. We're working I think toward we should that think about eventually. That. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I, I think you too. should think about that because mm -hmm. that everybody loves education, and you right. you know that more than anybody. Um, if you could set up a scholarship program, and then you know if somebody's planning their estate, they could give money that would go toward your scholarship plan. Mm -hmm. So good. yeah, of course the Garden Club of Georgia has one, mm -hmm. and the National has one. A scholarship. We donate to that as a club, but mm -hmm. for our club, we don't have one mm -hmm. yet. Mm -hmm. That's there what you we go. Work on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We just started our Friends of the Garden Letters asking different companies for donations mm -hmm. and individuals. They've been very generous. Mm -hmm. Good. We just Good. have become tax exempt. Right. 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 That's yeah. Day, mm -hmm. So not quite a year. Thank you, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Yes, Jim and Tina Colossa. Okay. Yeah. Speaking, yeah. speaking of fundraising, my dear friend Selena Hales, lead singer for Angel Spirit, is battling cancer. Pancreatic cancer is a booger. Mm -hmm. She is um, fourth treatment this week. We are praying that some great things happen. We are raising money for her. These are $10 each. Chase me down. Talk to me. Go by Deb's Bakery in Jasper. Go by the Robin's Nest Florist in Jasper. Pick up one. They're $10 each. This is what I play exclusively in my car now. Just go up and down the road with Selena singing to me. She sang at everybody's funeral I ever planned, and she has been such a blessing to so many, and um, we need to bless her with some prayers. So please mm -hmm. pray for Selena. Put her on every church prayer list you've got going on. And um, let's lift her. You know, I named the group Angel Spirit because they were performing in front of a, a bunch of angels and they didn't have a name. And I said, well, you do now. <laughs> and right now we need the angels to gather around her and to hold her strong and mm -hmm. to beat this vicious, vicious cancer. So she is one of those people who was so busy taking care of everybody else, she wasn't taking care of her. So early detection is so very important. Mm -hmm. And if you're feeling like something's not right, get a checkup. It might, you know, works, works. Mm -hmm. So but please don't forget Selena's CDs. And again, that's Angel Spirit. And I want to remind y'all, we have three YouTube channels that we're going to try to convert to one. It's Sherry Martin. And that's where the new programs go on. Sherry Martin 2009 is where we started a long, long time ago. And then Sherry Martin Heart of the Home. And you know what that is? That's a technical glitch. Because Sherry had to change password and it set me up a whole new YouTube. I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> you know, I'm not technical. Trust me. I, I've got a cell phone and I live by it. But technical, uh -uh, that's not me. I, you know, I would just as soon write a real estate contract on the hood of my car on a brown paper bag as to have to use all this techno stuff. <laughs> But it is, it is a sign of the times, and we have to do it. So, so anyway, but y'all, please support Selena. If if you can't support her um, by purchasing a CD, please support her by lifting her in prayer. So, 
We're going to do a song by Angel Spirit, and then we're going to have a little transition time, and we're going to bring Dawn over, so one of y'all is going to have to give up your seat for just a few minutes. Okay. And we're going to bring my daughter over, and we're going to talk a little bit about um, Cherokee Indian history in Ball Ground and in Forsyth County and in surrounding areas. And then we're going to talk a little bit about her husband, the fisherman extraordinaire, because he just got the big deal. And we're very, very proud of Lonnie. But I wanted Dawn to be here today. She was very sheltered and gardening and at home. She was a homebody. She went through a, a deep, deep time of depression after my daughter Angela died. And Dawn kept sinking and sinking and sinking. She's coming back. She's coming back. And it means that she will do television with her mama now. So it's important that we have her here today. And uh, we're going to talk about the book Cry of the Eagle. And if you haven't read that, you can check it out at the Ball Ground Library. It is one of the most checked out books at the library. Or you could get online and buy it, and I don't suggest that. We're going to talk about why in just a few minutes. We're going to take a commercial break, and we're going to do some music by Angel Spirit, and then we'll be back. Pets all over the world are so bored every St. Patrick's Day. But not in L.A.J., Georgia. Join us Saturday, March 12th from 11 a.m. till 3 p.m. for the 2022 St. Patrick's Celebration. Bring your pets all dressed up for the pet parade and pet costume contest. We'll have vendors, raffles, a pet blessing, entertainment, and so much more. Saturday, March 12th, 11 a.m. till 3 p.m. L.A.J., Georgia, the 2022 St. Patrick's Celebration. <laughs> Whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meet, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ, how may I serve you? United Country Talking Rock Realty says it best. I'm happy as long as I can see Sharp Top. From the ground up, new home to complete renovation or remodel, we have combined the amazing workmanship of SGC groups, transforming the forgotten to the fabulous. Teamwork makes the dream work. For buying, selling, or flipping, call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece or just making memories, writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow, whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection-based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. We 
mercy that I need. But the one for which I long, it makes all the others strong. I need a wall of prayer surrounding me. Round me strong that can't be moved. And I promise you today, when I bow my knees to pray, I'll do my best to build a wall of prayer for you. Yeah, really. <gasps> We're back. Okay, y'all can see we had a little change. Miss Jenny Byers has just uh, left us for just a few minutes, and my sweet daughter Dawn is here. Okay. And you're here because we want to talk about the book Cry of the Eagle. Yes. And your dad was Forrest Wade's son, and they were a bit into Indian everything everything they they did walk the dark hills you know that song that gospel song walk the dark hills these boys walk the dark hills yes. they walked all over Cherokee County from ball ground to um, Latham town over into duck town to Sawney Mountain and there's a poem in the book and do you want to read it or do you want me to read it you can read it because I didn't bring my glasses okay up. I'm gonna read this poem and then heart. we want do you really oh my gosh well I don't Wow but anyway the book is called cry of the eagle and everybody who knows my daughter Dawn knows that her name is Cherokee Dawn it's because of this book that that's her name so this is a poem about Chief Sawney and when you come to ball ground and you ask how did we get our name there's some Indian history going on there so talk to people find out and and know that the Indians did they lived there long before our ancestors came there, long before any white settlers came there, the Indians lived there. And it's very important to, to think about the Indian heritage and Indian history in Ball Ground. At the foot of Sawney Mountain lived a Cherokee clan until along came the white man who wanted their land. The white man was greedy, he lusted for gold. He lied and he cheated and deceitfully stole. The law of the white man did rule one day that the Indians be gathered and carried away. Then came the removal, no powers could sway. Chief Sawney called a council for his tribe could not stay. His people gathered around him, this old chief so wise. Our nation has fallen by the white man's lies. Go on with the soldiers, be removed with the rest. I am too old and feeble for the long journey west. The Red Hills were calling and too old to go, all withered and feeble, his footsteps were slow. He asked of his people for one last request, seal me up in Sawney Mountain forever to rest. Take me on Sawney Mountain, far back in a cave, roll a stone over the entrance, there will be my grave. Heads bowed low in sadness, hearts heavy with grief, far back in Sawney Mountain they led the old chief. All the wealth he had gathered in the days gone by, they placed in the cavern, then left him to die. Many years have gone by, and the legend's still told, and the white man's still searching for Chief Sawney's gold. On top of Sawney Mountain, where the eagle flew high, far back in a tunnel, Chief Sawney did die. High up on the mountain, far back in a cave, lies a great Indian warrior so loved by his braves. And that oh, is sweet. Chief Sawney's story. And pick up the book uh, at the library. Sadly, somebody has been producing this book that doesn't have the rights to do that. So and you cry, <laughs> I know. Um, <laughs> if you, you know, this is, this is a value to your family. It has family history, but we ordered one online that was produced by somebody who doesn't have the rights to do that. Right. 
and you have to fight it, you have to protect, what is yours is yours. And we found that your dad had the right to reproduce the book, your aunts had the right to reproduce the book, but no one else did. And somebody has reproduced it and it's on Amazon, which is very angering, that somebody could just take your belonging and create wealth for themselves. 25, mm. 25 or 30 years of his study and research to come up with this, to compile all this together. And then somebody took it, yeah, yeah. So please um, don't buy the paperbacks that are on, on Amazon or wherever you can find them. Get an original copy, they are still available through the family. And um, it's, it's crazy that somebody, but in today's technology, and that's sad, because yeah. you can go in and you can capture Change something with a cell phone. Words, yeah, probably. and then you can create something that's, that is, it is, it is theft. It is theft by deception. So, so it's sad, and when I found that it was available on, uh, I was looking for somebody else because they wanted a book. And we looked and then there were these low quality paperbacks and I said no that wasn't produced by the family and it was it was very sad so you know in today's world isn't it sad that we have to protect what truly belongs mm -hmm. to us yeah and it uh, it happens it happens so now has Lonnie gotten all of his awards in order we always have to talk about <laughs> him he's Maybe. he's amazing yes, he what is the title he just got um, he won overall points division for the ACA, America Catfish Association. That's worldwide, y'all. That's not Ball Ground, that's not Turtle Town, that's not Alabama, <laughs> that's that's everywhere. And and he is a local roofer who is the hardest worker I've ever met in his life, in my life, and he's, he tickles <laughs> me to death. He says, I roof to fish, and he does. <laughs> he roofs to fish, he roofs fast so he can go fish. He yeah, yeah, yeah. He loves it, and um, he excels at it, and he's so good. And, and yes. congratulations to Lonnie, and we are gonna have all his trophies out one day and we're going to put pictures of them and it's just amazing but That's but we wanted wants so bad yeah we wanted to share the information if you haven't read cry of the eagle pick up the book it is very simply written it is it is really cool to me because we've chosen some of the signs these are indian um signs, signs that were found on trees in the area from ball ground over to high tower off of 369 and over at the franklin gold mine and all of these were were truly signs that were found on Indian trees. So, and, and when you think about, Forrest has been gone dead. Can we tell how old you are? Yeah. He's been gone 48 years. Mom, huh? How old are you? I don't know. I'm <laughs> 47. <laughs> <laughs> She'll be 48 this year. But anyway, that's for 25 years before that, he worked on this book. And it is very, very sad that somebody has stole his his work. And and now it's all over Amazon in a poor, poor quality book. And uh, that just goes to show you things ain't like they ought to be. What good is the copyright? Yeah, yeah. And and that's sad because they have the copyright. and, and somebody snatched and, and did that so so if you want a copy of cry of the eagle you can get in touch with dawn you can get in touch with um does peggy still have some um i'm not sure does john have some yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah so so you can get in touch with uncle john tinsley lives out here on 382 and we'll we'll figure out how to get you an original copy of Cry of the Eagle because they are um, it's a really cool book and we want to share that with you and we want you to think about when you're walking these hills and you're looking at property in the 1800s the Indians were walking these hills and if you dig my mother dug up a piece you know about the piece Mama dug up yes. and I had an archaeologist two archaeologists analyze it and they said it was before Christ and I said no it came from Dog Rock Georgia they said no trust me it was before Christ and I said that can't be and they said yeah trust me it is two of them and I was like are you kidding me wow, so where did it go? Uh, I'll tell you that later uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> your daddy had something to do with it but oh, anyway <laughs> It went to the Indian Museum that oh, is now closed, so sad. But but anyway, um, go to the library in Ball Ground. You can check out Cry of the Eagle. You can read that. You can learn a little bit of history, especially if you're new, moving into the area, and you always say, how did Ball Ground get its name? What tribes fought? Jenny, what Creek, tribes fought? The Creek, Creek and what? The Cherokee. Creek and the Cherokee. And, and the Cherokee, you know, hate to say it, but we stole their land. You know, we didn't, but 
white white man stole their land. Yes, they and um, I lived at Harris Farm, which our home that was an Indian reservation. And it was absolutely beautiful. And um, you remember the history of Harris Farm, and they took some of the buildings from there and took it over to the Chief Van House and reassembled mm -hmm. it. So often, mm -hmm. digging in the yard, you would find pieces of pottery or even their arrowheads. silverware arrowheads. How many arrowheads do we have? Probably 11,000. 11,000. <laughs> Would you like an airhead? What <laughs> color? I, what I just had one framed from Garland Mountain. All of them were gathered from Garland Mountain, and it was just an old, somebody threw it away. And so I reframed it, and it's fabulous. Uh -huh. There's 44 wow. arrowheads on it. Wow, wow. wow. See? Awesome. And, and Lonnie will stop on the side of the road anywhere and look for arrowheads. He'll just, oh, yeah. you know, yeah, that's it's a big a deal. It's a disease. Yeah. <laughs> It I is. do that too. <clears throat> it is, but isn't it cool to look back at our history? And when we look at the history of All Ground, I was talking to somebody yesterday, and I said the history of All Ground is so so pure and so good, and we want the future to be as pure and as a good, and we want it to be well developed, well planned, and people who come there. I was sharing that I walked to the office Saturday night at 10 o'clock, and I walked back home at 10:45. And I said, where else in the world could you live and feel safe walking yeah. to work at 10 o'clock at night and walking back home at 1045? Right. You know, so so we live in such a great community and, and we want it to remain that way. And so it's important that development be done wisely and we are doing that. And that growth comes, so people like y'all went from 30 members to now 57. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! That's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome, and new people are coming. And this award is now. Sally, tell us about this award. Um, we received it <coughs> uh, this uh, spring. We were the, it was awarded this year, but we were the 2020 Garden Club of the Year, and that's a big honor for all of North Georgia. All mm -hmm. of North Georgia. Mm -hmm. and how many garden clubs, Diane? A lot. It, there's, uh, it's the Laurel District. Mm -hmm. so. How cool is that? How yep. cool is that? And if you are into gardening and you want to join, y'all meet Tuesday, which Tuesday? Second Tuesday of each month, except for the summer. <coughs> and go on great field trips. We have a great Christmas party in December. Mm -hmm. yeah. And Plants, you meet at Sharp Planting Church. Change. Yeah. Shot Mountain Church, unless mm -hmm. it's really pretty, and sometimes we meet in the garden. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Next month, I'm going to present a, a little a program on native plants, and we'll meet the third Tuesday this next time. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're out of sync because of the Garden Club of Georgia convention. Okay. In Macon. <laughs> so you have to do what you have to do. Yeah. Yep. And if people want to get in touch with y'all, they do have a Facebook page, yes. and it's called. <laughs> a ball ground garden club, I believe. I don't know if I have that with me. Get Just on Facebook and look. Ground garden but club. you can yeah, even go on the about. website for the city because mm -hmm. I get calls about the garden. They're asking how much it costs, when is it open, and I tell them free and anytime yeah. <laughs> and they're like what it's free <laughs> yeah it's free and it is just a beautiful place have you even been there well you gotta go we'll have to go and have we'll lunch there one day tour. yes okay. yeah <laughs> it's beautiful it. yeah it's, it's beautiful. beautiful and I would love to have some of Granny Wade's dahlias that were planted over where they're about to widen the road she had her mother's red deep crimson red dahlias mm -hmm. planted there remember where John took the picture you we have a picture of her when she was three that Uncle yes. John took in front of an old building and that's where her Granny planted these beautiful uh -huh. dahlias, and I have been over there and looked and looked and looked, and I've never found any. But I know they have to still be in the ground. And we I have a bed of dahlias was. that any any addition would be wonderful. We need to go back before they cut the road in there and see yes. if we can. We make it shot. Who knows? But we, <laughs> you know, <laughs> we carry a gun. <laughs> you gonna carry a gun? Stopped up there. Did you? Yeah. 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 Well, we need to look. Well, I'm so glad that you're here today because today's a very special program. Um, I needed to have the bells here, and we planned this a couple of months ago, and we're gonna have. Um, some things going on in the future. We're not sure what. Uh, just working on getting organized and going forward. And uh, I have to say, real estate has been really, really busy. And I'm so thankful to be about to be presenting 40 new homes that are going to be over the ridge, overlooking 
a beautiful, beautiful view, and we've had the conversation in the meeting about what's the development going to be. It's part of Farmer's Crossing, but it's going to be the overlook at Farmer's Crossing, maybe because the views up there are spectacular. Mm -hmm. And I took some beautiful sunset photos, and I'm so excited that we're going to offer homes overlooking Ball Ground. That is just too cool. And that's where the cows used to graze. I actually got out there Sunday afternoon and I clipped some of the old barbed wire and I'm gonna make some signs for the family to keep out of the old barbed wire. Okay. But there's just a part of history in every piece of Georgia that we touch, from Ball Ground to Turtle Town, there's history in, in all these mountains and all these hills. Mm -hmm. And it's important that we maintain the history and we move forward with progress. And, and we do it in a well-developed and well-designed, and I think that's what Ball Ground's headed for. So, when's the last time you went in, um, have you been to Laura Mays yet? Yeah, yes, for my birthday. birthday, yes, that's right, that's right. Well, Laura Mays is, she's doing the food for the Garden Club, and again, this is on May the 21st. Right. May the Meat 21st. Sandwich. Yes, to die for. <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> and again, this is the fifth annual bar, ball ground plant sailing festival. If you have things in your yard that need to be thinned, do you have anything that needs to be thinned? No. Not really. No, because it, it it is time. And if you do and you could donate it, then they can sell it and raise money. And we have to say a big shout out to Linwood Development. Uh, Woody Snell is an amazing, amazing gentleman. I was walking him through the gardens when I first met him and I said, this is a botanical garden and this is an, and he said, how do they water all of this? And I said, with those water hoses that they drag everywhere? He said, oh no, let's put in irrigation. He did it. Free. Awesome. He Free. did it. He did it. He called his wife and said, Joy, we have this project. You won't believe this garden. This is amazing. We're going to get to put in irrigation. And I said, huh? <laughs> so it was, yeah, it was amazing. What a blessing. What a blessing. Yep. Those things happen a lot. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. Lord. Yeah, and it was so funny because he just, uh, I mean, immediately he was on the phone to his irrigation guy. And, and he, he took said, care of it. When can you schedule this? And he I was took like, care of it. okay, <laughs> okay, is that not cool? Is that not cool? That's so, y'all, awesome. we want to invite you to Ball Ground. We want you to come and we want you to get to know the tiny city, Rick, the city of Ball Ground. It's a tiny city, but it is a city. Um, it's a great place to live. It it's is. a great place to live. It's a great place to work. There are many companies down there that are hiring and um, if you are looking for a job, there are plants in the, I see every single day somebody's got signs up, all the restaurants are hiring. It is time to get open for business and get back to work and do everything that we can. Spring is upon us, ladies. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yay, 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 yay. <laughs> and Miss Kraut Queen, are you gonna be making kraut for long? Yes. She makes kraut like, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, this, this girl. Her husband eats kraut every meal. It's like, you'll live to be 300, so, so. yeah, that's what he says. It's, it's the antioxidant. So if you're gardening, if you haven't gardened before, try it this year. The cost of doing business at a grocery store is kind of astronomical right now. So if you can grow it, get out there and do it. Do y'all ever do a class about teaching people to do gardening? Have you ever done a garden section? Um, not really. Um, I think that'd be great we, for kids. We, well, we, we have toured the, the school, which is half a block away. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Two of the classes came, and of course, when COVID hit, right. that stopped. Changed everything. But we would, yeah. uh, I would take them on a tour, and we'd spend about an hour going through the garden, and uh -huh. uh, they they learned a lot. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, I think just four rows, if you mm -hmm. did a little bit of corn, a little bit of okra, a little bit of tomatoes, and let them see the product from beginning to end of food because people don't understand That's the food right. chain is it is time to grow what we eat. Well, we've been talking about doing a set. We have a, a the, the big metal flower we have in the mm -hmm. garden is kind of what we call the children's area. So it's a place to play and so forth. And we're wanting to involve the school and also uh, we maybe bake some raised beds with different That'd plants be awesome. and show yeah. them. We've got an herb garden where they can go and taste any time. I used to do things that grew under the ground and my kids' radishes. I would grow, grow radishes and carrots when we lived on Harmony School mm -hmm. Road. And the kids were like, I thought you said we were gonna have radishes. Then I'd dig it up and there was a little radish and they're like blown away. So, yeah, yeah, they don't understand. Cool. It's time for us to get out of here. Thank you for joining us today. Mm -hmm. I hope that you will join us again. And as always, check out our YouTube channel. It is Sherry Martin or Sherry Martin 2009 or Sherry Martin Heart of the Home. Join, subscribe, 
check out Dawn's YouTube. Which is Dawn Fountain. Dawn Fountain, and uh, YouTube is is there. So check us out, and I hope we will see you again soon, only on ETC. <laughs> Bye, y'all.